trying to understand the threats in uh, the Department of Commerce is to draw a distinction between distributed automated threats and more targeted threats. So on the distributed automated threats, uh, and for those of you who have a, a waiver, this will be the first time I'll mention of the botnet report uh, that came out uh, a year ago, sort of laid out, here is our vision of the current threats against distributed automated attacks. And I think one way to, to know about what drove that particular response, you can think of this as the government response to the famous Mirai attack. So we're all pretty familiar with this notion uh, that, oh my goodness, a whole bunch of connected devices that we don't know who the hell made them, all of a sudden triggered perhaps the most well-known broad commercial internet outage uh, and, and loss of core functionality that we've seen in a while. Everyone's fairly familiar with this Mirai attack. Uh, there's another perspective, which is to say, in the most well-publicized and visible attack uh, against a core piece of infrastructure, DNS service. Um, the harm was over in less than 24 hours, and the community instantly saw the one failure model that prevented greater resilience in the future. And if you're on the technical side, it's that we used to have our DNS records have a long TTL as part of defend against DDoS attacks, and now we realize, oh, that was actually part of the problem that you were talking about. So the community, which to say technical experts and private market actors, uh, actually were quite resilient in this case. It was serious outrage, but quite resilient, and moving forward, that particular attack is resilient. So I think that's important to keep that perspective as we talk about resilience, that the overall ecosystem, technology and market actors, uh, have some amount of service. The second area that I think we're going to come across today is more targeted attacks. Um, right? The random cut in the international cable versus knowing exactly which part of the infrastructure to inflict maximum damage against your target. And how do we model for that and plan resiliency around that? How do we detect that there's some ongoing attempt to subvert core parts of the internet? That's going to be something that we need to understand as 